Hi, I'm Steve Kostansky, and you're watching How to Make Your Own Chris Fuckman with Mackenzie Murdoch as Chris Fuckman. Howdy. So let's get started. I need sponges, liquid latex, or in this case, wrinkle stipple, a blow dryer. So you just quickly stipple on some latex. I use quite a bit for Fuckman because he's fucked. Well, you have to be quick because you want a really thin layer and it dries quickly and if you stipple while it's dry and you come in contact with the dry latex it'll actually lift it up and ruin it and you have to start from scratch. You don't want too much on your sponge. As you can see it's fairly consistent, there's no blobs of latex or anything. I've done I think about four layers at this point. So I am going to powder it now. It seals the latex and prevents it from sticking to itself. Uh, this is just neutral set face powder. It's good to get the uh, your subject to move their face around and squint their eyes and stuff, because then you really see where the wrinkles have formed. Crow's feet on the forehead, underneath the eyes are good. I like to put some in the nasio label folds and around the mouth. I'm just getting him to hold his uh, eyebrows down because it pulls the skin tight on his forehead, so when he lets go, it'll make some good wrinkles. This is a Skin Illustrator palette, which is makeup that's activated by alcohol. Well, the three colors that I use are uh, the Rice Paper, Natural 1, and Natural 2. It's the Cedar Brown to make, like, kind of age spots, like darker spots on his face, just to rub your brush around in it. And then I, uh, I'm using a comb just to or spatter some makeup onto his face. It's a good way to get kind of a natural skin look. So you don't have to use a comb, you can use your thumb. So now I'm just accentuating the creases with a bit of purple. Sometimes I use a bit of brown too. Just kind of makes them look stressed out and tired and gross. I like the idea of wandering around like after a screening of Father's Day at some like convention. Hey, hey you're a fuckman! What I'm doing is I just added some dark here to bring his, his brow out. And so now I'm going over it with light to kind of make it not look so obvious. So the stuff that I'm using is called Bondo. All I do is I poured some Prosade into a cup and then I took a paper blending stump for drawing. And you put those into the container, you soak it in the Prosade, leave it overnight. When you come back, it essentially sucks the moisture out of the Prosade and makes it really thick. Because really what this is used for is patching up prosthetics. But you can also use it to build up forms on the face like a scar, or like I'm doing now. Or Pimples or whatever. So where did the scar come from? Steve put it on for fun in the trailer. Now we have to fucking make sense of it. I'm just uh, putting in some hair color. I'm gonna start some white, but then I think I'm gonna put in a bit of silver gray as well. I'm just coloring the uh, wound on his face. You're just gonna take a paper towel and dry your teeth because there can't be any moisture on your teeth while I'm putting on this tooth stain that I got. I smear a bunch around and then it dries a bit and then I keep pushing it around and it gives it a good, I don't know, sleeping in mud under a bridge and waking up with a mouthful of mud and hobo shit. Enough kind of luck. So there you have it. We have a completed Chris Fuckman ready to go fuck. Real completed Chris Fuckman would have glasses and yellow food coloring on his tongue. So remember that when you make yours and uh, have fun kids. Why well, wouldn't leave the makeup on for more than 12 hours, because you ever read Haunted Mask 2, that Goosebumps book? It's like that. I feel like I could really rape a lot of dads. It really gets me into the character. I, mean, I feel more like this is my real face than, uh, than, than your real face. Yeah. That's because it is now. <gasps> it is now. <laughs> I think that's uh, everything for how to make your own Chris Buckman. Nice working with you, Mac. Nice working with you, Steve. Yep. Happy birthday, Steve. Thanks, everybody.